Hi everyone, Edison Vasquez at Convert. Hope everyone is doing well. Today we're doing frequently asked questions from industrial buyers. These are users who are going to occupy the building for their business. Buying a warehouse for your business can be a great long-term investment. Additionally, if your business requires special equipment, machinery, or refrigeration uh, inside the, the facility, it can be one of the best options and a great alternative to leasing. So here are some of the questions that we often get from uh, buyers looking for warehouse space. Number one, what is due diligence and financing period? Due diligence is the process in which the buyer conducts inspections to ensure that the building fits the requirement. It can be a roof inspection, uh, environmental inspection to make sure there's no pollution or contamination in the, in the building, uh, a general building inspection for electrical, plumbing, structural, anything that has to do with the building or the land. Uh, and zoning also in, uh, included in this due diligence to uh, ensure that uh, your building can operate under this building and this city or in this municipality and there's no ordinance that prohibits the use. Sometimes there's uh, zoning that doesn't allow certain uses so that's another thing you can check during the due diligence. Financing um, is, uh, is the process in which you as, an own, as a buyer will uh, secure financing to buy this building uh, and will work with your lender to get a final approval to buy this building. Uh, the lender will do the appraisal, they will do survey and also an environmental and finally issue an approval uh, letter for this, uh, for this loan. Due diligence financing, uh, a lot of times they go together, they can be the same time um, and they can and again be 30, 45, 60 days. Other times they can, they can go separate, due diligence can be shorter, financing can be longer. It all depends on how it's structured and how you negotiate it with the seller and how your broker uh, was able to negotiate the deal. Question number two, when is the best time to buy a warehouse? We always say now, uh, no time like the present. Um, if you have a year left or if you have even two years left on your, le your lease, is start looking at the market, start engaging, start looking because deals uh, can appear all of a sudden. So start looking, start negotiation, especially in markets where there's a low inventory and a high demand from buyers. It's important to stay active and, and keep constantly looking at spaces. Sometimes you can take two, three, four, five years to find the right space, the right deal, especially if it's a unique use um, that doesn't come on the market often. So stay in the market, start looking, start now. Number three, how can I compete with investors or users paying cash? Um, this is very often very common in South Florida and probably in, in markets that are very competitive. So a couple of things that we say to our buyers is uh, make uh, your offer more competitive. Uh, make the offer higher than the investor, a little higher. Um, be flexible on the terms, on due diligence, financing, and also more importantly, closing. Sometimes the sellers need time to move out, need time to relocate, uh, they, they need time to adjust to the uh, not being with the building. So be flexible with the seller in those terms and that your offer will become a lot more appealing. Also, a, a, a great tip is to release the escrow deposit um, before closing. So if you have done your due diligence, you have the loan approval and you have 30 days to closing or, or a couple weeks, consider releasing the escrow deposit to the uh, seller. Um, that way it shows confidence and your offer will be more appealing to the seller. Number four, can I get a good deal now? I'll only buy if it's a good deal. Uh, this is one of our favorite questions and that we get really often from buyers. Um, again, going, going back to our point of starting now and being active, um, don't wait on the sidelines. Um, you know, a, lot, a lot of buyers uh, are, are sitting on the sidelines waiting for the right deal while other buyers get in the market, make offers, negotiate, and it might not happen in the first five offers or 10 offers, but that 11, 12th offer, that's where you have the deal. So stay active, uh, stay, stay competitive in the market, look at buildings because that's how you're going to get a deal. And remember our saying is deals are created, not found. So um, for the buyer, uh, be active in the market. Um, what what, uh, what a, a good deal is, is being in the market, being active and negotiating until you get your right deal. And that's how you're going to arrive to, to a good deal, uh, not sitting on the sidelines. Uh, number five, uh, can I buy a larger warehouse and rent the space that I use? Uh, very often, and, and we see that happening a lot, is, a, is the answer yes. Um, even if it's a conventional or an SBA loan or if you buy a cash, even better, you can uh, occupy the space, let's say you buy 100,000 square feet, but you only need 60,000 or 70,000, you can rent out the rest. And we have done this for many clients where 
the ideal building was not on the market, but a larger building was, and we were able to negotiate a deal, a good deal for that building, and uh, and the, the buyer was able to occupy most of the buildings, and we were able to find a tenant or two for the rest of the space. So that, that helps uh, alleviate some of the mortgage, and in the long term, it becomes a great investment because the rents go up, and uh, you or you grow your business, and you occupy the entire space. So uh, definitely, if you uh, that's another alternative, if you want to be more competitive and look at other options, uh, find a building that's 10, 20 percent larger than what you're looking for, and you can find a tenant for the rest. And even with financing with SBA, um, they you can occupy 51 percent, and then you can you can uh, rent out the rest. So uh, very, very, very easy to do, and that's another great alternative to find options uh, outside of what you're looking for. So these are the top questions that we get from buyers. Hope this helps. Uh, feel free to leave us your comments and, and questions. If you have anything that, you, that we haven't answered, please let us know. Uh, we love your feedback and uh, we love hearing from you. So thanks for all your feedback. Thanks for following us. You can follow me on Instagram at Edison Industrial, on um, Twitter at Edison CRE. You can find me on LinkedIn at the Edison Baskets PA and also uh, visit our website warehousesmarket.com where you can find our latest listings from 4,000 to over 100,000 square feet. Uh, take care, have a great day. Be safe.